are you again going to you know, be able to believe in the the sort of the innovation, the secrets coming in? This Centaur War Runner support that nobody else is is playing right now. Is it gonna make? <laughs> is it gonna make the magic happen? Here? I feel like the secret tricore is very strange, at least to me. I can see why they went for it. Nature's Prophet very good against Morphling, um, though I kind of like what Entity have. I think it is very much their bread and butter. Even if they haven't played this much Morphling, Pure is an incredible morph. It's a pretty good morph game. He is laning against Nature's Prophet, but again, he is covered by his support, the Chen, who's going to make this lane a bit easier for him. So I would look for him to have a good game, really. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting ourselves into this one. Game one of the best of five here. Team huh. Secret RCG versus Entity fighting for that Giant one spot. Monsters. One spot we'll that will take Let's you direct party. to the international. 2020. Here we go. Start it off. I'll smoke up outside of the base to try and position. Vision. same time and in terms of the, the early lane matchup so are we going to see any sort of matchups try to be forced by either side uh i wouldn't say necessarily forced but it is definitely nice as uh, i touch on if the gen is against the nature's prophet yeah uh top lane by default should be super favored for secret right, at morning. least as far as i'm start. concerned you have two melee heroes the shaker undying against razor even the fact alone that it's a Razor carry against these heroes will make that lane very good. He has a Pulse 5 Centaur, which again, <laughs> I don't know how good this hero is, but if your carry has a good matchup and then you're the Pulse 5 Centaur, I'm sure the lane will be absolutely fine for you. Let's see. So far in this run, here we go, Rick. Battle's about to go. Oh. Oh. Single game. Flawless. They've had some highs, some lows as well. Make it here. What a series. Yeah, day, but that extra bit of warming up will work in their advantage. They've at least got the momentum on their side, for sure. Yeah. They've been playing the whole day and like <laughs> smashing people with some, you know, doing some good stuff with your Centaur. It definitely also shows that their preparation has been working out. I'm sure they also have heroes in this game that they feel good about. And also something to definitely keep an eye on is going to be the Smith matchup. I know that it is at least supposedly TA favorite, and I don't think this has changed. So also we'll need to see if Nisha will continue to have a good game as he has done pretty much all tournaments so far. Uh, been incredibly reliable, Nisha. Mid performances. Many a game here for Secret. Match up top lane. Down Cat only. Seen this a few times now from a, from a few teams. So what's your thoughts on uh, on dying in the core role? What, what, what does this sort of enable uh, in the hero when you're given this priority? The hero just seems to lane very well with the new decay, where you don't you don't lose this HP, and also you have you push out waves really fast with this hero nowadays. You have a little higher damage later on, then your decay deals more damage to the creeps. But it's overall just about the levels and the tankiness. You hit all these timings like a lot faster. Your laning stage is really amped up, as you can see even up top. They're playing this double melee lane into Razor, but they're applying a lot of pressure. They're ahead in the CS, and Crystalis is already on 40% HP in this lane. Assistant spam here from Toby. Very, very low. Atomi also able to grab the, the creeps to make them meet. Radiance Courier it takes a lot of damage killed. for it, and we'll you be able to snipe his courier. That out of the delivery is being made. Dead to mine. Denied. So far, pretty good, eight. For five here on the last hits and denies. A lot of pressure so far in this lane. I mean, w w will this change or does this just sort of be a pretty safe, safe lane for the morphs to farm in? Is there ever really any potential? Oh, ready for a fight. 
Um, I would say that the only real way for them to change, is we have a little bit of harass top, uh, is around the time where Reza gets level 3, because, sure, he will still steal a treant, but you have one more. So instead of just having one, you're gonna have two treants, so that's gonna help a little bit. But unless he could get to a high pressure within, like, the next two minutes of him getting that second level in treants, then that lane later on doesn't really become much better. Sure, you will pressure the tower a bit with Nature's Prophet, but if in the next two minutes they don't shut down pure, they will not do it afterwards either. Do you, do you sort of see any potential for, for any of those early moves to, to add an extra hero to the mix in any of these side lanes to try and catch out any of the cores early? So Stormstormer is playing an XOR build, so there's not too many moves that are going to go into the mid lane, I believe. At least not from Entity side. Secret could look for plays later, and they definitely want to. When you do play this Nature's Prophet in the off lane, it's one of the most tempo-reliant heroes in the game, which means if you have plays to speed up the game, it's very good for you. Like, Taz can potentially roam mid, and then Nature's Prophet can go there. But the Entity don't really have the same option. They can look to counterplay with the Earthshaker, so I would say the only real place we're gonna see is that Secret should really be eyeing this mid lane later with Tusk and the next profit rotation. Far in the mid. 16 for 12 against their 14. Creep being denied in the mid lane between the two. Storm Stormer denied just that little bit more from Nisha. Huge eyes in there as well, of course. Four. Now, this is dead even you. on the top lane. Whoa, mid lane. Take Storm Stormer down it. Nice walk. Weren't able to stay on top of him there, but an early attempt it. Bring down the, the Invoker Rezo. Bring his face. Just knee shimmy. Stormer's gonna be fine. Survives the attempt. Will we ever continue to see us in the lane if Reza has to step back to bottom? Get a in here. The dragon fish man is around to help out though. Zayat is very, very low. Pure waveforms in. Get the kill, but not before on the other side of the map. Crystalis was able to claim that first blood, taking down Toby. Looks like they must have clipped the Undying top, maybe with a slow into the center stomp. Looks like the eventual pressure of top lane is too strong from the Razor. I mean, I was already a little surprised how well the Undying was doing, but I think with the changes, it's not too crazy that he was doing good for like four or five minutes now. The secret get this eventual kill on them, which is great. In the meantime, Fuhrer gets himself a little killed on bottom two. That's Fishman here. Trapped. You can really do in time to, to be able to help out, secret. Flying kills now in both side lanes. This minute mark. I like what uh, Zayat is doing here again in the enemy jungle, especially around the five, six minute mark nighttime. Not only do you get to go in like an aggressive area to scout things out, you get to place vision, which he just did, and you can potentially set up the play around mid that we've already touched on. You do have the TA traps now and we all know Exord Invoker, not really the best at protecting himself, if at all. Try the earlier movement. See this focus around the mid lane. Middle tower is under Coming attack. in, Rezo. Look for the setup here behind the tower. Backup is here, Entity. And not Fishman and Katomi. Oh, Radiant's middle tower. Once again, is under to just attack. make sure that Storm Stormer is going to be perfectly attack. fine. They'll get a bit of damage done to the tower. Pressure with the Treant, Secret, same time top, Puppy. Trying to fight Toby here, he really wants the Tombstone, but he's taking a lot of damage for it. And Will lose his life for that one. Back in the mid, Nisha also gets caught. The Ice Wall gets laid down, he's not able to escape. That's a, a, well, a big kill in the mid. And on that top lane, a very easy kill there for Toby. Well, definitely nice plays from Entity all around the board. I do think the way that Secret engaged uh, the mid play in both times has been less than ideal. I feel like they're forcing it a little too much. I like that you can see that the idea is there and they know what they want to play for. But I believe that currently at this point they're trying to do it a little 
Like they're they're not patient enough to make the play, and then in the meantime, Toby he drops his zoom top, gets out a little bait, and actually gets a kill on Puppy. That was pretty interesting too. Ah, oh, he's, he's gonna be very happy with that one. I mean, you see at the moment, second highest in the net worth here, Toby on the off lane and dying. Very much showing its strength, uh, even in this matchup where Byron Melee Hero gets to raise it. He's just not, he's not felt any sort of pressure from that whatsoever. No, Shut not out. at all. I th yeah. his, his item build actually is very cool on um, Undying. I think he just understands, okay, it's a type of lane. You will not beat Razor by right-clicking. So he has spent, spent all his money on mana regen, which is not oh, just good for him, but also for his Earthshaker. So, uh, Sage Mask, Basilius, Raindrop, now Arcane Boots. Uh, just very good build by him, completely understanding the matchup that he's playing into. Make a go on him now. Tombstone has the ult, so this is going to be any sort of help for him. Fisher comes into play, or trying to hit up with the Soul Rip. I have a chance of bringing Chrysalis down in return. Kanto is in with the stun, indeed they'll be able to find the trade. Puppy oh, is sort of trapped in here. Trying to find a way out, but the zombies are building like up upon him. Katomi stays on top of him as the zombies, they kill him off. Toby gets the double kill. I mean, this top lane is, is, is turning into a bit of a mess, but a bit of a beautiful mess, I think, here for Toby, as uh, oh, he'll happily go down for that one. I mean, <laughs> Owen, you asked me why they play off lane on dying. I mean, Here's this is why, answer. yeah. <laughs> I mean, see, Secret just don't, it seems like they don't really know how to deal with it. It's just... It's just, it's just working at a, a pretty deadly level. Three kills now for Toby in this top lane. You, you, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna mess with this man. If you try and go for the kill, you're gonna both die. Yeah, Undying is just the type of hero where you need to truly understand whether or not you can kill him from full to zero. Because if you don't, it's just a situation where you will get turned around on, right? He's gonna pop his ult, get some HP, heal himself, drop the tomb. My so thrift reward. I feel like right now Secret are trying a little too hard to make their plays work. Um, and now since some of their last plays have failed, I don't really blame them if they feel a bit of pressure right now. Because Rezo is not too happy on the Nature's Prophet yet. He's going for an interesting build, which is the... Vessel Rush, actually. Considering that he's playing against Chen, Morphling, and Undying, I can definitely see this one work out. So he's gonna look to get involved a little bit. But if he wants to have a good timing on this Vessel Secret, need to hit a few of these moves. Sure. Oh yeah, already the, the early network lead starting to favor the Ward's Entity. Got, uh... The puppy. They're already Middle dead here, Cold Snap. Enough of a setup for Entity to clean up another kill. Top lane, aggression from Zions and Chrysalis, but not able to find a kill out of this one. In fact, they, they've got to roll away. Katsumi is able to get a fantastic angle. Locks off the escape of Zayas. This top lane is going to end another kill here into the hands of Toby's Undying. La, la. Entity are moving the heroes very beautifully around the map right now. So now seeing that Pure has had a very good early game, and similar to what I said, they didn't get to pressure him with the one Nature's Prophet timing they had, and instead he is now very farmed on the Morphling, and he can protect his bottom lane for a long time. Remember back in the graph where I said that their cores are very similar? Well, they picked a third hero who is basically one more of that. They don't have too many rotations around other than the Nature's Prophet, and now that they've missed attack. a few timings, you're not gonna have Nisha run bottom and help Rezo to take this tower, so Pure's just gonna live rent free in this bottom lane and just farm everything. I mean, yeah, it's definitely Stairs concerning if you look at what uh, what Pure's been able to get away with down here. Yeah, top net worth by a clean a thousand. You know, the, uh, the CS far, far ahead of anyone else. Yeah, just complete free farm here on a Morphling. And we've seen many, many times kind of what consistently happens when Pure gets complete free farm. Very little team stand any sort of a chance against it. Yeah, no, absolutely. And this is a pretty good morph game. So now though, for Secret, at least on the flip side, Nisha is still doing very well on the TA. The tier morph matchup is a little bit weird. If you have help from your team as the TA and you force the Morphling to have to strength up, it's pretty good because he loses more armor, then you start hitting him with the death zone, you can actually be pretty scary. So right now, since the game is not as good as Secret would like it to be, they should look to eye Nisha, help him get this desolator, and then look to involve his hero a little bit and help him get involved in the game. Because right now, he can't. His objective is going to be too far. Mint uh, pressure here coming from Entity will succeed. Taking out Puppy, get Zyatz as well out of this one. Secret, they've got to run. There's no fight to be had here. 
Here. I mean, oh. yeah. Here. Can he finish this off? Oh, nice sprout. Reza will be able to block oh, off really the more momentarily, but the waveform, it's still going to be able to close the gap. Zentity. They'll get three kills. They're now up to a 3k lead. Been playing around with Nisha as well, making sure he doesn't have the easiest of time of farming his own triangle. So I think for Secret right now, um, I mean, Entity are just playing really well. They're, the way they are positioned on the map is very good, oh, boy, but so far it's mainly Secret making plays and they're not really working out. If you're Secret, I think right now they need to understand that their kills don't really happen that fast. They don't have that much uh, burst damage, right? And they're playing against heroes who are really good at turning plays. Undying Tombstone heal, there's a Chen heal, there's a long range Fisher. So uh, unless your plays really happen attack. fast and you snap a guy out of the game, Secret need to be a little more aware of where they fight and how many heroes Entity actually have in the area because they're always Dyer's ready and they will counterplay you like this every single time. Morty, I've been across the cosmos and I've seen a ton of different realities and let me tell you, this they're ready to return is towards the bottom. Just starting to at all in any way, show here from form. Resolution. They want to deal with this. He's coming in. You can get the setup onto Rezo. There's the first. There's the opening. So strike connects. Rezo goes down. An easy catch and kill there for Entity as Rezo shows his face close to the tower. Yeah, for now, it's just really all Entity. Um, for Secrets, oh, well, of course, they're not going to feel great with the position they're in, but they're only down 3k gold. They have a bit of a greedy support in the Centaur and the Tusk, where they both somewhat need items. So right now, I think they need to slow down the game a little bit. Let Rezo get this vessel, he's very close. Perhaps give a, a lane to Puppy and then... Really, they need to keep farming the map. Right now, they cannot fight into Entity. Their draft is not really designed to do it. They're also behind in the game. And I think soon enough, Entity will force the first Roche. And we... I'm kind of interested to see how Secret responds to that one. Sure, sure. And I feel as well, with Secret's lineup, how easy is it for all these heroes to kind of find the space to, to get this farm that, that they need at this stage? Because it, it feels like kind of you know, a pretty greedy lineup in terms of the three cores and then the areas of the map that they want to be clearing. It feels like this is a crossover. There absolutely is a crossover, 100%. The good thing for you is that you have a Nature's Prophet who can potentially farm like very iffy areas that maybe other heroes can't. But without having vision on the map, that is also not really easy to do so secret are kind of in the position My where it's actually it's very hard for them to play this game right now like their next moves are very important so they can make a move here on the mid go for toby two of them will get the kill stampede also allows them to safely disengage the defensive team can catch anyone out of this they can't the stampede enough but secret apart so they get in they get the kill they get out that was very nicely played Definitely making the most uh, of the, you know, the situation at that point. So that is absolutely how they can fight. Go it's likely even the only option that they can do it at this point is that they find someone and they hold the MP to then disengage after. They hope to kill the guy fast enough. As soon as he drops low, Stampede run away so that the Tombstone and Cold Snaps and all Ice Walls, whatever, that they don't slow you down. So very nicely played by them. Off at least hold off from making the next move, I'd imagine, until they have Stampede available once again. Very well as mechanic to get them out after they find that opportunity to make a quick move. Link daggers, cat dummy, 1500 to this. Able to find Zayat step. Dagger, done. Between that and the bots, ready to be all across the map. Again, these items that Entity are getting out make it that little bit easier to respond, even quicker. More favorable positions that they're able to jump back against Secret when Secret try and go for these. Yeah, it's it's time for Entity to go Roche. Pure has played the bot area long enough. He held the tower alive for a long time. He got all the farm going and now they're far ahead. They have a very good Roche lineup. You have Chen, you have Morph, you have Undying as well with the Tombstone. And now here, this is a very... Okay, as we have a Stampede coming and in. Aggr aggressive Stampede here from Puffy to try and start the action off. But it doesn't look like the rest of his team really want to get involved in this one. As Puffy goes down, Entity, they'll resume the Roshan. 
Zayas, he, he's hovering around the edge of the pit, but there's just no way they're getting in on this. There's Entity, they're able to take it down, get the Aegis into the hands of Pure. I, I just a little bit ambitious there from Puppy on the lead in. Yeah, de definitely. Perhaps not feeling good enough, you know, about giving Roche to your enemy, but sadly, you know, sometimes the truth is you have to give it to them. So do you rather just give them the Roche or do you want to give them Roche and kills? And that sometimes it's just hard to let go in that situation, but I do think for Secret moving forward, they want to hold the Stampede as they showed in the mid-fight prior. They wanted to disengage or to kite around the fight a little bit. But either way, nice job by Entity, they go for the objective that they need, they finish up the Roshan, and now they're also getting closer, not even just close, they just finished the Blink Dagger on Katsuomi. So this is gonna allow them to actually play faster around the map, and they have two plays now. You force this top tier to tower, or if you already see very clearly that Secret will not fight you, you can smoke across the map, because right now you're in a position where Secret don't really deserve to farm that much of the map with the heals that Entity have. Because Radiant just fortified their structure. And as you know, you mentioned in the draft that we're gonna be a bit concerned if Katsumi got one of his two heroes that he's been popping off, and we really are seeing it so far this game again. 2-0-8, high involvement on the kills. Yeah, with this blink dagger added into the mix nice and early for him. Secret, they better be scared. Bottom lane, Stormstormer. The setup on resolution, no chance of a TP out here. The four of them surrounding him. Blink and Volker, very cool seeing it this early. I mean, Stormstormer, a storm, uh, storm, a invoker specialist. He's been <laughs> Grand Master or whatever this tier is called for as long as I play this game. So this guy definitely knows his ins and outs of this hero. Now Entity, they TP'd all their heroes to bottom. Very likely that they're gonna look to soon get out of here, start connecting with their thing again, who I haven't talked about more of that much, but Pure is just rocking this network chart. And yeah, there's exactly. really no surprise there with the start that he's had. Yeah, completely free farm in that lane down bottom. And uh, as I say, it is, when you kind of give Pure that sort of start, he's going hit, to start hitting these insane numbers. Scardy, just 800 gold away, you know, 20 minutes in, you're looking at this Manta Scardy Morphling, which is a pretty terrifying oh, secret, damn, especially when you, um, when you consider, obviously, that they're running a three range core, three range core right clicking lineup. I mean, it, 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 this, it, this, the Scotty's is going to be their worst nightmare. Oh, absolutely. That's a problem. Zyx up with a two-man slam. They'll put the stampede, but Puppy, he's already dead. Zyx rolls in. He's quickly out. As it is already starting to look very difficult for Secret to get any sort of footing in this game against Entity, and we're just 20 minutes in. under attack. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I'm a little concerned because this, uh, I'm sad to, to say it, if you want Secret to win, but this game is not getting easier for them. This is uh, an incredible morph game. He has Alacrity. If it isn't, you know, it's already a great morph game. He has Alacrity, Tombstone, Soul Rip, Chen heals, and then Earthshaker getting stuns for him. This uh, doesn't oh get goodness. much better. <laughs> and uh, of course, also, Toby's finished up a Lotus Sword. Yeah. So he's got that to throw down on Pure as well. They have all the tools to... Honestly, all, all, also the tools to, to pop up a modeling in this state, say, to a, a 30 minute mark in a game. But they, they've got this all set up at 21 minutes in. Where dire top tower yeah, and they're just gonna be. go up high ground, and this is absolutely the correct choice. I also like the creeps on Fishman, attack speed as Tusk. Zayas just taking up a ton of damage from those casual spells. Oh, he to go for the Jesus snowball, but oh, another quick snowball into his death. Dire's top Here, are, uh, brings him another kill. Literated. They put the fortification, Ooh, but it fortified really fortified feels like these racks are going down no matter what. We're just 21 minutes in, and Entity getting to take whatever they want from the map, and Secret, they just, just don't have a response. They see the wave forming over the wall, Nisha caught by the Fisher, he's out for 50. Yeah, ready to continue to play aggressively here, still 40 seconds on the Aegis. This isn't an accident now. It's Entity. They are coming into this grand finals as explosively as they have every other series we've seen from them in the run so far. This quarter five, Puppy goes down. Entity, they're not going anywhere. They're into the base, up the tier fours. They'll turn towards Crystalis. It's going to be pretty much a D-Y off the beat. They need to set the flanks there. GG is called. Welcome to the grand finals, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We've just had a 22-minute victory here from Entity. Radiant win! Radiant